Hi, I'm Oliver P, and the P stands for Pomavan, and today I'm going to give you five worst endings in a story. Yes, don't try this at home, or school, or wherever you write. Let's get into it. Hey Tree Gum Gums, welcome back to the channel. Don't forget to like, sub and share if you care, and it's been a minute since I've done a quick writing video, writing tips, um, and there's plenty more on the channel there as well if you look under writing mini lessons. Now, my advice, how do we end a story? Well, I'm gonna start by telling you five ways you shouldn't end your story. And the first one, Grumpy Bear, is to say, it was just a dream. Da -da -da -da! It was just a dream. It was just a dream. Yes, please don't do that because it is so lame to write this really cool story and for the character just to wake up and go, oh, that fire-breathing dragon and me being a hero saving the day was just a dream. Ah, wells, it just cheapens the story. So first one, it was just a dream. No, 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 don't do that. Number two is the portal. Now, look, I know you play Minecraft and other games that have portals. Like Portal? Yes, even Portal has portals too. Portal 2 is a really great game. Anyway, um, so now, look, in a story, it's a bit of a cheap way to shortcut a story. So, you know, if you were going to have this really cool story about finding a treasure and then you say well I'm just gonna find a portal and go straight to the treasure the end it basically shortens the excitement but you also miss out on the fun journey that happens in the story as well so please don't have a portal in your story and even worse don't have a portal that takes you straight home okay because that robs the excitement. The third worst way to end a story is to simply have everyone die. Yeah, everyone dies the end. So let's just say you have a scenario where everyone dies and even the main character dies. Yeah, even the main character dies. But if the main character dies, then who's writing the story then, huh? The ghost of the main character. Okay, you got me there, Grumpy. Don't just kill off all your main characters and have everyone die because that is kind of lame. Kind of similar to uh, the portal. Like the portal basically is a shortcut that basically steals all the excitement of the journey. Killing off all the main characters kills your chances of having a sequel, having a part two. But it also ruins, you know, all the character building that you did. To have them all die just like that is a bit of a shame. So don't kill off all your characters. Okay, fourth worst way to end a story is just to put the end. Now I know, I know, a lot of stories do have the end at the end of a story. But you just can't hide your lack of an idea for an ending by just putting the end. Especially if you just have this, you know... Uh, mid-sentence or like you're halfway through a scene and you're like, okay, and uh, Grumpy Bear, do you want to give me an example? Yeah, like maybe you might put, and I pick up the wand, and I look at what's his name, and I zap the end. No, 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 I know, I know. It's, it just, don't do that. It's just not good to put the end to cover up the fact that you don't have an ending. And number five, the worst way to end the story is the cliché and they all lived happily ever after. Because not many people get to live happily ever after. There's a lot of drama in this world. And there is grumpy bear bringing everyone down. I've got a rain cloud on my tummy and it's raining outside so I am feeling a bit glum. Now look, sometimes you can say that a couple of characters basically are happy because they get to, you know, go on holiday or they get to save the world or they get to have an iPad, you know, that's cool. But you just can't use that term happily ever after. It's like if someone says once upon a time. Now those things are used in fairy tales and sometimes they're used in uh, stories that can sometimes play or make fun of fairy tales. 
But in a story that you write Tree Gum Gums, don't write everyone happily lives ever after. Because like Grubby Bear said, not everyone lives happily. The bad guy doesn't live happily. So don't put happily ever after. So those are my five worst ways not to end the story. Five worst endings. Let me know Tree Gum Gums. How do you end your stories? And have you used one of those five worst endings? Don't be shy. Don't be ashamed. We all do it. I sometimes do it as well. Let me know. And also let me know how you end your stories. Because I will actually have another video about how to actually end the story. So that's it for me. Grubby Bear. Um, anything to say? Don't forget to like, sub and share if you care. And we'll catch you in the next video. We sure will Grubby Bear. Um, so how should we end this video? Oh, you know, just da, 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 you know, with all the books that come up. The end card. The end card. <laughs> we could, we could do the end card. And you know what? That's probably the best way to end it. End card it is.